How do I get Mormons to stop visiting me? So a few months ago a Mormon came to my door and asked if it was possible to enjoy life on earth. Forever it was like 8 a.m. and I was not awake enough for this. We spoke for a while and he told me he'd come back with his wife later and then he left. I'd met him once a few years ago in similar circumstances and he said he'd come back and never did. So I was assuming he would do the same. But no he keeps coming back with his friend his wife has never visited and I'm not sure how to get him to stop. I even moved out for a month which I thought would convince him to give it up. But I've moved back and he visited again today. I keep dodging discussing this further. But I'm probably going to have to address this directly. And he's a nice guy. So I don't want to be mean to him. But I don't want to become a Mormon. What do I do? Well you can tell them you don't want them to come back. Some of the more respectful ones will leave you alone. If that doesn't work tell them you were once Mormon but left. And maybe offer to help them leave if they want. That's a big no-no in Mormon religion and definitely make them go away. I recommend the first one. They are still people and even if they don't respect your wishes it's worth a try. I've had good experiences saying, sorry, but I'm not interested. Please don't come back. I asked how it felt being in a cult started by a convicted con man and they never came back. They're trained not to take hints. We spoke for a while. That's your problem. They log right down addresses where people talk. Next time tell them to fuck off. There's nothing you can do. You have to burn your house down and move three states away. Ask them about their soaking experience at BYU. I guarantee that they'll never come back. You say I don't want to be rude. But I'm not interested in discussing this again. I would appreciate it. If you stop coming to my house in the future. I used to be a member. After I left I had to contact a lawyer to get them to leave me alone. Give them flyers on how to exit a cult. They try to force their BS on you, you can try the same. Talking to them is like feeding a stray cat. They will keep coming back. You just need to be a little rude and say no thanks and shut the door on them. Tell him you're not interested in converting and to stop coming over. Say they look hot and start rubbing yourself. Tell them you were excommunicated from the LDS church. You will never see them again. Tell them that you're gay. I used to have them show up at my house every so often. Then one day I was chilling on my couch smoking weed and I heard my ring doorbell go off. So I looked at my phone to see that the Mormons were at my door. I took a big hit of my bong. Held it. Then answered the door while hiding it behind my back. They gave their spiel about their Lord and Savior and then when they were done I exhaled. Coughing. And offered them a hit. They practically ran away and I never saw them again. Why don't you just not answer? Answer the door naked and invite them in for a frolic. You are gonna need a frozen turkey, face paint, and a suspension of shame. Not sure if it works for Mormons but my neighbor got the JWs to stop coming by when he answered the door in nothing but a bathrobe with a chinstrap dildo on and bong in hand and a what? I am busy. They come back because you spoke to them. Do not have a conversation with them. Just politely tell them that you are not interested and to have a nice day and then close the door. Edit for spelling. I don't want to be mean to him, but I don't want to become a Mormon. Did you tell him just this? Say the following please go away and don't come back. I understand you think you're doing something good here. But I am really uncomfortable with your visits and don't wish to see you ever again. If it was possible to enjoy life on earth forever. Something like when I believe as I do now. I can get to heaven. Why should I switch to something less? True story. But I actually knew a guy who answered the door clothed in all black. 
smiling. Let the Jehovah's Witnesses give their speech. Then he said and I too would like to talk to you about another Bible I follow pulling out Anton Lavi's Satanic Bible. He said they squealed and ran for the street. I myself cannot get rid of them because my elderly dad was foolish enough to chat with them while we were doing yard work. They stopped during pandemic and recently started up again. We even get snail mail from them. Like they just won't let up. If you're a man answer the door naked. If you're a woman get a man to answer the door naked. Thank you. But I'm happy with the God I have now. You can just tell them you're not interested. They are usually pretty good about leaving you alone if you directly ask them to. I wouldn't call repeatedly showing up uninvited nice. If he doesn't get the idea after all this time you're going to have to push back and tell him in a way that may feel rude to you. He told me he'd come back with his wife later. Mormon missionaries don't have wives. If it was possible to enjoy life on earth forever. Been a while. But don't remember that being part of the doctrine. Was he wearing a name tag elder? Put a novelty Halloween skeleton in your yard wearing magical Mormon underwear. Answer the door naked. Don't even acknowledge you are naked. Act like it's completely normal. You opened Pandora's box. They are not your friends you don't have to be friendly with them. Firstly, this actually sounds like a Jehovah's Witness. Not a Mormon. If it's every Saturday, then that's definitely it. So any jibes about Mormon origins or theology won't get you anywhere. Second, simply state that you no longer would like to be visited. Do not let them in the door. It's gonna take some backbone on your part. But you can do it. I mean you could try selling them something. You said your orants are hoarders so just pitch him a random thing for sale. He'll either stop coming or you have a regular customer. Win either way. Ask him about dinosaurs. Have you tried telling him to go away? I am an apostate. I just say that I'm not interested and please don't come back. Then I shut the door in their face. Without listening to another word. Put porn on and invite them to join you. I know a guy who does this any time somebody shows up to talk to him about God. He never gets a repeat visit. Don't do this but a guy was pestering me about this and I just started hitting on him. He left me alone after that. I just stuck a note on my front door when they wouldn't leave me alone. I wrote that I wasn't open to being converted and that I respectfully asked that they leave me alone. And don't come back. Just be honest something along the lines of hi. Listen. I've made up my mind and I am not interested in being converted to Mormonism. Crack the door with a beer in hand. And offer them cold ones. I live in the state of Mormon. And yearly get missionaries stopping when the new crop of graduates start their missions. I always pop a fresh barley pop. And then have a polite conversation about the fact that I believe Sky Daddy is a myth. Have yet to receive a second visit. Resistance is futile. I invited them in once and offered to help them escape the cult. They quickly left and I haven't been visited since. Mormons are a great resource start gardening. And tell them you'll listen while they work. You can get a good couple of hours of weeding or wood chopping out of an evangelist. Sadly, they only come around once per house. We're looking forward to seeing them at our next move. We've got fences that need to go up. You literally know what to do already. You've been telling him it's okay to do this out of a fear of confrontation bro. Just say stop. Ah it's just like pretty girls who don't know how to deal with guys texting them just say you're not interested.